Hey, what's up guys? So in previous video, we just created the zero information component and we saved it to the database and persisted the data whenever we reload. Now we want to make this image, yeah, this data as a component. So let's see how to do that. So we are here in the update hero data component here and we want all these things to be a component. So let us create a component from here and let us call it as image.view okay. so let me initialize a view component here now let me copy all this information from here so all the data up to here okay now let me add it inside a div here like this and let's see what are the things that is being used here. so update photo preview yeah so update photo preview so let us copy that now and let us paste it inside the methods so it is doing just reading and it is assigning it to the photo preview yeah so let us create a photo preview now as a data so after that let's see what's it doing here so after that there is a photo preview we have already defined here so this is so in the search you are getting this image url a hero image url so we, let us pass this as a prop yeah let's say image url here and we'll get this as a props from here image url now let's see what other things is here hmm so let me remove this all tag from here and here is a value yeah so let us also accept this as a prop as a label and we can say here label and then let's see what other things are here okay this select new photo yeah it is not defined here so let us take that from here Let us copy this and add it here inside this. Okay, after that, here is the error message. Yeah, so let us also accept this as a prop. Error message. And here it will be error message like this. Now we also want V model support for this. So what we can do is whenever we update the photo preview. It is rendering it from here yeah so here what we can do here is this dot emit input and we'll emit this value so it will give the file so again I'm saying that way if you don't know anything about this uh, photo refs file zero then you can watch my tutorial on the view 3 and image upload and Laravel API so I have explained there everything basically it will just add a file here and this will emit the input from here whenever we change a uh, image from there and it will be available in our parent component as a v model so whenever we want v model support then we have to always emit the input event from the child component okay we have done these things now let us go to update hero data now let us replace these components with our image component so let's say app image here like this and let me first import this below and let me add it here now if i go here so if we see here in the props we have three things here image url first yeah image dash url and here we'll be getting this settings dot data dot hero image url and the second one is label and here we'll just say photo here yeah we don't want it to be dynamic just the label string and error message error message we want here like this and if we pass here so whenever there is the camel case prop name then we have to pass it as this kebab case from here okay it is the convention from the view 
So now the error is this form dot error dot photo. So let me paste it here and this should not be photo. This should be hero underscore image. Yeah. So whatever the value that we pass from the form, we should write the same name here because the error will return the error messages in the same key. Now let me just remove all those boilerplate from here below. Let me save it and let me refresh the page here now. So you can see here the button is not appearing here. So it's because I think I haven't imported the component there. So you can see here a bunch of jet components here, jet label, jet secondary button, jet input error. Yeah, let us import those. So let's see first import the jet label from here. And then let us import this jet secondary button. And let us import this jet input error. And let me add those in the components here. So I have added these. Now let me go here and refresh the page. Now you can see here all those are available here. Now if we see here in the console, we don't have any error. Okay, now let us see here in the view, here in the inertia in the create inside that. Here update hero data. So here the here is the form. And if we see here in this hero image and description, now let me change this new photo here from here. And if I say this ZStream backend and view 3 sneak peek. Now, if you see here in the events, it is emitting this input event. Yeah, so it is emitting the input, but it is not being seen here in the form. So let's see what is happening over here. So we are not using V model here, I think. Yeah, so you can see here we are not using V model here. So let us use V model form dot hero image. Yeah, form dot hero image V model. And if we go here, so let us remove all those things that are not needed. So a bit image preview we don't need it here and select new photo also we don't need it here and this ref photo this also we don't need it here because the v model will automatically update this value we don't need this as well so let's see any other thing so this photo preview also we don't need here okay we have removed all those information now let me go here and refresh the page now let me again open this update hero data and let me open this form here so if we see closely here in this hero image now if i here so you can see here this hero image it is just now changed into a file now let me save this so it is saved here now and the same image is also shown now if i refresh here it should persist here so you can see here the same image is persisting over here so we have successfully converted that image upload section that into our component. So like this. And now we'll be using the same component in every part of our application. So that's it for this video guys. In the next video, we'll be saving the data for about us and contact us space. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.